Hi all. I want I wanted to talk with you about about how to stop skid marks in your boxes or well underwear what else yeah just men, men, men's and men 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 and, men and women's underwear basically uh, it's a bit it might be a bit expli explicit so be warned but obviously I'm I'm just doing this video just to help people out if they if they want to say that save themselves the embarrassment of you know someone finding out they got mark marks in their boxes or knickers or something so yeah let me yeah I'm not trying to publicly humiliate anyone you know so I just thought I'd do this video be just to help people if anybody is struggling with it just in case so yeah I brought myself along a little tissue as you can see you know the toilet tissues are normally separated in three different well individual this they they I think they they call it perforated I'm not sure if that's the right term sorry yeah I was right about the perfor perforated bit basically the perforated part is <coughs> Sorry, the perforated part is where is where the is where this part where where it's where you can tear it tear it and separate it. You can see where the lines are, the three lines. That's where the perforated part is. Basically, two two you know you, you obviously you know when you, you when you do your when you when you normally go to loot, go to the toilet and you drop your dynamite um you know you, but you know what I mean when you're finishing that and stuff like that and you're all done basically you get you get one you get one you can get one piece one piece one perf sorry one perf <coughs> one perforated <coughs> so my throat one perforated part sorry one perforated part get one perforated part and and basically use that and and take off whatever is is whatever is dangling uh when you go to the loo if there is any parts that are dangling when you when you when you the the poo part basically but you know when it comes to doing that you know try and not try and not get a, a tissue that's from the from the pound shop because the ones that are from the pound shop they'll they'll break in your fingers if you try to take take the the poo off the poo off of your off of your off of your your back passage if you if you you the tissue will break in your fingers because you know you got the hairs and that the pubic hairs and that and also yeah so once you've done that, if you, you can do that, at least you can do that. You can break one piece, one piece if you want, and do that once or once or twice or more if you want. Once it's once it's all clear, that clear, that's fine. But when you the part I wanted to talk to you about is basically when you don't done that, take off the excrement that's left over. You basically take you can with, with with good quality tissues you can use you can t use two two paper perforated parts with some tissues that are maybe not good quality you might want to use the whole three perforated parts so basically you just if it's just two you just use two if it's a strong tissue you just fold it or you just fold it you fold it basically and you just and you just you you just use use the two perforated parts which is you can see that the bit that's the bit that's folded and basically when you, you the thing the thing I need to tell you about is is this part basically you can use whatever whatever thing that you're comfortable in using but basically when you 
what you do you have to, to clean it properly once you've done what, what, once you've done the first stage you basically you have the tissue and you in in, in the back passage you you only you only insert it gently in you don't you don't put it in all the way into the back passage you insert it in a way that it that basically is you hold it like that basically and you can use you can use your middle finger if you want because it's the because it's the longest finger on the hand you can use the middle finger to insert it into the back passage to clean it to clean it and basic basically you just hold it like this and you just insert it insert it basically in the back passage and just use use this middle finger and just get it into the middle middle of middle of the middle of the tissue get your finger in the middle of the tissue and and yeah but I'll, I need to tell you how much how much how how far you you meant to go because you, they say the doctor said to me you're not you 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 should try not to not to get the tissue you know you should try not to get the tissue stuck in your back passage or get it in your back passage and also yeah so don't get the tissue stuck in your back passage in the I think I think it's the anus in the in the bowel bowel section or the anus so once once you do that basically just go go you know when you insert it just go go up to there go go up to there with the tissue up to up to where my nail is this nail that my thumbnail just go up go up go as far up as up to there so it's only that much is going in in the back passage in the in the anus that's the only that's the only amount that's going in your inside so don't don't bring it to here where you, where you see my finger is 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 bending don't bring it all the way up to there because that's too far you don't really don't really need to bring it that far and don't bring it up to here either because that's too far because you could get bits bits of it in the in the back passage but you know yeah but what else can I say you know do you can do your own research on it if you want to find fi um, and find out more about it but you know and you, you can do do this process two or three times if you want to and if you do it this, do it two times you can just wipe it wipe it with the tissue wipe it at, at the end and you can what you can do is that when you when you use one t one one when you use two tissues when you use two let me just fold these ones when you use two tissues you can f when you use two tissues like this you can fold it and then in do it do it like this but insert it or insert it like this also insert it this way as well also but in the same process but, but the obviously you know that the tissue is going to be a bit more thicker so you have to put it in less bring it put it in the back passage less le a lot less than a lot less than before and then so that will be twice and I mean you might not need to insert it a third time but if you can insert it a third time that's fine but only if you can but don't force it but like I said get the get the right get the right advice because my my doc my doctor you know the, my doctor said you know try try not to lose the tissue in the back passage so only insert it that far as far as I as far as I as I mentioned as minimum sorry sorry as minimum as as minimum uh, as minimum amount as I mentioned the minimum amount which is which is about this which is which is this amount this amount and yeah get your doctors of get your doctor's advice about it about about that that about it before you do it before you before you actually do it get your get your doctor's advice about it when you see your doctor also do try and keep the tissue clean at all times put it on clean clean serve put the tissue on put it 
put the tissue, your, your toilet tissue on clean surface on clean surfaces at all times. If you if if you're living in a, in a dirty dirty place, then don't risk it. Don't risk it at all if you're living in a dirty place. And yeah. And if the tissue drops in the toilet, then don't use it. Don't use it at all. It has to be 100% clean and not have no mess on it at all, whether it's water or anything at all. Don't have no mess on it at all, whether it's toilet water, whether it's toilet water or anything else. So yeah, that's all I have to say in this video. So if you've got any problems with this, give me a call. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just giving you I'm just giving you a tip and what and what the doctors have said to me as well. But that that's all I have to say in this video, so God bless, take care and peace be with you. Bye for now.